wow, she looks amazing. And she's really big. She's quite tall. Hey, what's up Sailor Senji? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today I have a three-part series of some brand new figures that I picked up from E2046. So you get to see all my new figures on the YouTube channel as I put them together, as well as give you some reviews and tell you what I think of these different figures that I have pre-ordered. Usually E2046 pre-orders take a little while, but they do some really high quality PVC as well as resin statues. You can also get garage kits if you're really good at painting, which I am not. So I get the pre-painted versions. But that's one of the nice things about E2046 is they give you an option. The figures are not licensed, but one of the reasons I really like E2046 is because they release merchandise, these figures, of characters that we have never gotten products for. So in this example today, I am unboxing and putting together this character figure of Galaxia, which we don't really have much merchandise for Galaxia. So I saw this and I was like, I have to have it. Now, I believe this is the second or third release of this character. I know I didn't get in the original pre-orders for this, but I did get this round and I'm very excited to check her out. I know from experience, for example, I have gotten that human Luna figure over there from E2046, as well as this Sailor Moon up there. Both of them came out with really nice high quality. So I'm excited to check this one out as well. If these are still available online, I will absolutely put links down below. And if E2046 46 gives me any kind of special coupon code, I will put that down below as well. I'm so excited to put together these figures. They have been sitting like in my mailbox section of my room for a very long time. There's a lot of boxes that I need to get through. So I'm gonna record some videos today. We're gonna have a long recording session. So the first thing you'll get in your box with your figure is going to be a little tutorial of how to set up the character. Now in Galaxia's case, there's not much to her, so I'll probably be able to do it without this piece of paper. Now E2046 has recently updated their figures to include magnets on the inside of them. So apparently it's going to be a lot easier to put them together and hopefully they won't fall apart and hopefully I won't have to glue anything. But I'm gonna be pretty careful with her because I believe that she is resin, very similar to my Sailor Moon one up there, which if you saw that video, it was my first resin statue and I definitely broke off a piece, but I glued her back together and she looks totally fine. Okay, so I'm gonna get all of these pieces unboxed and then I will show you each of them separately. Now I do keep the foam packaging just in case I ever need to transport these figures. I have found that this packaging is really, really good for resin statues to the point where even though this shipped from overseas, none of the parts appear to be damaged and that's, that's pretty awesome. Hey, I think we have all the parts out. So I'll show you the pieces separately. Here is Galaxia's head. You can see that she is painted by hand. She has really, really beautiful airbrushing in her hair. The gold is this nice shiny finish and her earrings are dangly. The earrings do dangle a little bit from her ears, so they move around. Luckily, neither of them have broken. Everything seems to be in place. Really beautiful. Here is her sword. So in this case, the sword also has an airbrushing technique to give it more of like a metal antique look. You also have the chrome finishing on the red gemstones along the hilt. I think that looks really good too. And then we have Galaxia's body. So here is the final pieces of Galaxia. It looks like all the pieces along her armor have not broken off. Everything seems to be in place. So I'm happy about that because I did read some reviews where people have had these pieces break off, but everything seems to have shipped really well. And I love how her boots look. They did a really good job painting this character. I love how they made the armor look very shiny. And it also gives it a lot of dimension because it's not just a singular gold color. You can see there's a lot of dimension, especially in her skirt. So there's a lot of different colors going on there. Very pretty. Even her armband is very detailed. It looks really good. This is cool. So putting her together looks like a very simple process. She stands on this broken rock, which totally makes sense for the character given the last few episodes. Looks like the sword and her hand are fitted pretty close. So I'll have to adjust that a little bit. 
in order to get it all the way in there. Again, this is a resin statue, so I don't want to force it too much because resin is kind of fragile and her head does have a magnet in there. So once you put it in there, it's like stuck in place, which is pretty cool. There we go. That was so easy. I'm really impressed. Wow. She looks amazing and she's really big. She's quite tall. I guess I was expecting her to be a little bit shorter, but all in all, she's she's a really beautiful size and she looks gorgeous. I don't think she's gonna fall backwards or anything. She seems to be stuck inside the grooves on the rock formation at the bottom pretty well. So I'm quite happy. So here you can see what she looks like. What do you think? I think she's beautiful. Now this is my first of the E2046 line of villains from Sailor Moon. So I am very excited to get the rest of them. I do have a couple more pre-ordered. However, those haven't shipped yet, but I am keeping an eye out. So when they do ship, I'll be able to add them to a collection. My intention is to get a whole bunch of the different enemies and villains from Sailor Moon and put them all in one of my glass cases so that I have like a villain section in my collection. I think that would be so cool. And I think it was really fun to be able to start with Galaxia, who just happens to be the last major enemy that Sailor Moon has to battle in the anime as well as the manga. I think that's really fun. I am looking forward to being able to order the dark Galaxia version where she has the huge wings and she's all black. I think that would look really amazing next to this gold plated version, but I don't know if the chaos version of Galaxia is going to be available again because I missed out on that original pre-order as well. So again, this is part one of a three part series of E2046 built videos that I'm going to share with you. Let me know what you think of Galaxia and if there's any other figures from E2046 you would like to see me review and put together. Subscribing to this channel is the best way to support my content and the best way to show me that you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the comments. Jenny.